baby's alive she's all good An amazing car look at that bro this thing is fun <laughs> i forget uh i always forget drive how you know i used to drive this car it's funny i love this thing hey guys welcome back to Vita's garage thank you so much for watching and tuning in and this is gonna be another video on this 1989 mazda 323 as you guys remember i used to own this car and it's my friend's car right now but he still wants me to do quite a bit of work to it and today we're gonna do start doing a lot of engine work i have to replace the timing of the water pump on it i have to replace the valve cover gasket and a couple other things you know coolant and hoses and all that make it amazing this car has over 318 thousand more i don't know actually like it's got over three hundred thousand miles for sure but amazing machine actual japanese leather uh, legend leather i was gonna say but yeah let's get to it there's a lot of work i have to do all right as you guys remember from uh, my last episodes and i replaced this master cylinder it's got brand new fresh brake fluid um battery is still good and hold downs but as you can see on this side there's a bunch of oil leaks and uh yeah and this needs this belt right here too so there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done to this car actually it's, it's pretty bad but yeah we're gonna get to it and we're gonna make it amazing so the car is still really clean after the times when i cleaned it yeah it's just got a bunch of parts right there fresh parts for this car suspension needs a lot of work too so we're gonna be getting to it Let's start by removing this uh air intake right here because i'm probably gonna take out the throttle body and clean it too i got the battery disconnected the battery um clamps that we will have to be changed actually the cables they're pretty loose right here and they're the max adjustment that one is bad too it's all worn out so i'm gonna change that i'm gonna take the throttle body out as well to clean it it's pretty dirty yeah valve cover is all leaking it needs a lot of work so i'm taking the valve cover off but i have to undo this whole assembly for the uh, throttle cable notice this bolt was loose this one is tight this one's loose because it looks like it's stripped or something yeah it's just spinning around so yeah this one is fine all right so what i have is 21 millimeter socket right there with the breaker bar placed against the ground i'm gonna use the starter to actually loosen that crank pulley and i need to loosen because i need to change the crankshaft seal it's leaking pretty bad so that's the plan i'm gonna carefully go and crank it all right so the bolt is loose actually i did it off camera but i've done plenty of videos on especially on old school benzes on how to you know loosen the crank pulley without the impact gun just using this method so yeah now i'm gonna start so I'm still waiting on some parts, but I'm going to start removing the timing cover and uh, all that stuff. body super gummed up and dirty i gotta check this air filter maybe the air filter wasn't uh i mean i'm gonna order the air filter no matter what too but yeah all of this is getting cleaned the gasket is gonna get changed for the throttle body i'm gonna start cleaning the throttle body gasket mating surface make it clean for for the new gasket to go on it's gonna be nice also starting to take off this timing cover some of the stuff uh, like this was already cracked so once i take it off i'm gonna you know just put some jb weld on this thing it's gonna be good get the belt off and water pump pulley off now i'm gonna 
loosen that one more belt or a bolt right there and then uh, and take off this upper timing cover oh this belt looks like it's getting tired too bunch of oil here seems like i'm missing these uh, seals huh there should be seals here well, this has to be all cleaned up now off now. So there's a nasty leak right there as you can see. <laughs> I think it's coming from the front crank seal or maybe pan gasket but I'm gonna change everything on it actually. Pan gasket too. I have to. So I gotta top that center this Mark has to line up with that one, and this the three o'clock with this one right there. Crank, which is right there at zero degrees. It's hard to see, but once I take off the pulley, I'll show you more. See how bad this timing belt is? It's getting there, cracked up. So bad here, but what you want to have is that part right there in the back aligned with this guy, so we're good on there. I could actually turn it back just a little bit, just slightly. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, so it seems like there's an oil leak coming from somewhere, probably up top. Looks like his water pump is also kind of oily. Yeah, but still, I'm gonna change the crank seal too. I don't wanna risk it. Might as well, because I'm already here. Tensioner out. We're gonna take this belt off. So, I don't know. I mean, I'll change the crank seal for sure, but I don't know where those, this other oil is coming from. It's very strange to do more investigation cleaning here. So I took out the camshaft sprocket and it seems like the oil is coming from camshaft seal. So let's see what it seems like. Yeah, I mean most of it coming from the top. It's not really a valve cover. It's not really so oily here, but it's oily right here right beneath the camshaft seal so definitely gonna change that as well all right so i've got this uh timing belt area mostly cleaned up we're gonna start working on the water pump soon maybe today or tomorrow still waiting on a bunch of parts and then this suspension is really bad look at these control arms and bushings so i've got new ones i got new ball joints we'll be getting installed tie rods it's pretty bad. Gotta do the brakes too. Caliper is good on this side. I checked it actually. Probably uh, will replace this hose as well. Yeah, and probably the shots in the front. Ooh, lots of work, guys. Lots of stuff. Yeah, I finally unbolted the control arm with the ball joint and sway burling together. Everything is just horrible here, guys. Look at this ball joint. Look at this Weber link. Look at this bushing. Jeez. That is nuts. It's about to install a new one. Gotta clean all this area really nicely. Grab the rest of the bushing. <laughs> I 
about to install this control arm and got greased up bolt so it never seizes in the bushing really important all right so the control arm is mostly installed except i'm waiting on that bushing to come in i got the ball joint installed brand new one now i'm gonna install the sway bar link right here it's gonna be nice gonna install a new outer tie rod uh, the inner one I actually checked it it's actually good there's no play so it's the same way on both sides but uh, the tie rods the outer tie rods they're pretty bad loose too oh, it's the new one right here it's gonna go on and also what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put silicone paste on this boot so the boot can stay nicely preserved gotta clean this right here too Tired bushings and everything. The new outer tie rod. Nice. It's the ball joint that was in there. Yeah. Alright guys, we got more new parts. We got Valve cover gasket timing belt. This is, I think, Deco brand or whatever. It's from AutoZone, but it's Deco brand, I'm pretty sure. So it's a good one. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change the valve cover gasket. It's pretty bad, as you can see. It's gonna be really quick. I'm gonna take it off, clean it, and install it with a new one.